again. Let's now go to uh, Minnesota U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar, uh, who joins us right now. Welcome back to Roller Martin Unfiltered, uh, Senator Klobuchar. Uh, this, Thanks, uh, this obviously uh, is huge for the state of Minnesota. Uh, we dealt with uh, the, uh, the, the death, the murder of Philando Castile, uh, where the officer, um, you didn't have a, a trial there. We, you were dealing with this. You're dealing with uh, Dante Wright. You're dealing with the mayor of Brooklyn Center who said, frankly, it's unsafe for black people in the state uh, when it comes to the police. Uh, your uh, immediate reaction uh, to this guilty verdict on all three counts against Derek Chauvin. Well, my first reaction, of course, is uh, relief for the family. It's never going to bring George back, and they have never given up on believing uh, that something good can come out of this horrendous murder. And the fact that the jury came back so quickly on all three counts, uh, the fact that the witnesses that came forward, the clerk working in the store, the bystander, who seemed to be, as you know, putting the burden on themselves, when in fact we know who did this and it was Derek Chauvin. So the conviction was really, really important from a justice perspective. But at the same time, as as Sherilyn said, there's so much more work that needs to be done. Um, talk about the importance of one of your former congressional colleagues being the attorney general in this case. Attorney General Keith Ellison stepping in taking over this case uh, and putting together the legal strategy that led to the conviction of Derek Chauvin. I'm smiling right now because uh, Keith Ellison uh, handled this case um, every step of the way, just like he should. And you know why? He didn't make it about himself. He didn't make it about the lawyers that handled the case. You didn't see a bunch of you know, hot shot lawyering. They just did their jobs and they allowed the witness to tell the story because this was not just about George Floyd's tragic murder. It was also about his life. And it was about how much he loved his mom and how he wasn't gonna be able to hold his kids again. And all that came through Roland. And I think part of why is that Keith made a decision. He wasn't gonna make this about politics. He wasn't gonna make this um, about what legal move they did that day. Um, you didn't see him going on TV during the trial or even right leading into it. And I talked to him many times, uh, of course, in the last few months and then particularly during the trial. And he was steady as they come. He showed such leadership. And I just don't want that part of this to be forgotten because we know we have so much work to do. This is just the first step. We know we got to pass police reform in the Senate. But the fact that Keith Ellison was willing to take this case on because Typically, the attorney generals in states don't always take these kinds of cases on. And he did it, and he did it so well. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.